Hello, <clears throat> welcome back once more. My name is Anthony Emmanuel. Um, this time around, I'm going to take you through advanced workflow. Um, in the last um, video tutorial, we worked on basic workflow, just scrolling through drafts to send approval to approved. This time around, I'm going to add a condition to a workflow such that um, a particular user should not be able to, you know, um, approve a workflow beyond certain amounts. Say this um, document price, the grand total is 429. Now, I want a situation whereby is this document is greater than 300,000. I want it to go to a different um, approver. So that's what I'm going to work on. But first, I'm going to create a rule because I'm going to be using two users here. Here is the admin user who has all the rules. And at the same time, I have another user with a different role. All I need to do now is just create a new role and assign it. Okay, I'm going to quickly create a role by opening a role list. I'm going to add two rows. Um, first role is um, property user. Recall that a role is used to assign uh, different levels of um, access to the system. So you create rules for user who can view document but cannot edit it or for different higher levels. So I'm creating one for property user and the other one will be property manager. Now we should be able to see these two property user and property manager. I'm going to assign this. Um, okay, I'm also going to create property director, property CEO, property CEO. Okay, now I'm going to assign this property manager to the user and the CEO to the admin to user lists. Here is the user I just created. Select the property. If the um, new row does not appear here, you can refresh or reload. Now I have just um, reloaded this page and you can find the property user property manager and property CEO somewhere. I'm going to assign the property manager to this user and save. Then for the admin, okay, I'm on working with the admin. Yeah, for the admin, I'm going to assign the property CEO to the admin though I can assign everything that has to do with the property to the admin as well. Since I'm running a test, I would not want to be logging in using different account box. What I want us to test will still be achieved. All right, and that's it. You can actually read, I can actually reload this user that I'm gonna use for the test, reload the page so that can, the rows will be active on the account. Okay, we're going back to our workflow to modify the workflow. Here's the workflow, we click on it to open the workflow. Okay, and right above here we have the states. We can actually add to these states and also remove from the states. Yeah, I'm gonna add, we already have dropped, we have pending approval, we have um, rejected, approved, and cancelled. Okay, I'm gonna add another state, call it um, pending. CEO approval.
Okay, create a dependency you are providing once. Um, the yeah, pending is still on zero. Yeah, I'm gonna move that up. You are pending CEO approval and allowed only for CEO. That is property CEO, property CEO. Okay, that's all. Here I'm gonna change this from project to property manager since I'm working with property. Property manager, same for this other side. Okay, here yeah, what we have done is we created a state for draft, pending approval, reject, approved, and cancelled. Now, I want this to be approved either by the property manager or the property CEO based on certain conditions. And what are the conditions here? We have some document who's going to open new document so we can see how it works. Okay, here I have a property open and Scroll down to the bottom, we'll find that this property is 429,000. What I want is if this property exceeds 300,000, um, if it is less than 300,000, I want the manager, property manager, to be able to approve it. But if it exceeds 300,000, then it should be pushed to the C CEO for approval. Then our transition rules has to change, and record that here has to be. Um, property manager yeah I hit save by mistake flies control s okay <clears throat> now we have draft once the document is created the document to be in draft I'm gonna say um send for approval that is the action then the next state to be pending approval. And here we have pending approval and the pending approval should be towards property manager. So from here, we are gonna add the condition here, um, send for approval. And it's gonna to go to, um, what is it called? Um, sorry, from draft. The next action is pending approval and this pending approval is for the manager and it should go to this manager if the value, the grand total of this property is less than 300,000. Here the field name is grand total. So I'm going to edit that. We edit the conditions. Here the conditions becomes doc dot grand total less than 300,000. If the document's grand total, if this grand total here is less than 300,000, then this flow, it will move from draft straight to depending approval, that is for the manager. Okay. Then we also have another draft states. I'm going to duplicate these draft states. Duplicate. Yeah, this will be pending CEO approval. And that is if the document is greater than 300,000. If documents is greater than 300,000. That is, government of grand total is greater than 300,000. Then I want it to sent directly to CEO. And think we are good to go here. Then from there, from the draft, you can either reject when it's in the draft or at the same time, we have um, approve when it's um, from this pending approval now, you can approve at the same time. That's, this is for the property manager. Then for the CEO, we duplicate this. Duplicate. Because pending CEO approval.
Okay, let's check to be sure everything is right. Okay, from draft, we either send to manager or we send to CEO based on the value of the grant total. And from there, it can be, the document can be rejected as well while it's on draft. And at the same time, when it's on pending approval, it can be approved by the manager. And for here, it could be approved by the CEO. Exactly. Then while it's on this pending approval, it can be rejected by the manager. At the same time, it can be rejected by the CEO. So we're going to duplicate this as well. Okay, so we have um, from pending approval, the manager can reject, the property manager, at the same time, pending CEO approval, the CEO can reject. And at the end, we have approved. <clears throat> and from approved, we can move to cancel, canceled. That is, we can save this test. And after testing, I'll come back to explain this once more, in case you do not understand what is going on here. Okay, um, document has been saved. What we can do right now is to test the document. And we're going to test it using the user who has a property manager rule. I'm going to reload this. Okay, my property, uh, my document has reloaded successfully. I'm going to use this next document for the text. And recall, I told you this is this just has to do with the geolocation. Why I am on local IP address? That's why that error is coming up. Okay, we have actions here. We have sent for approval. Right. Recall. Um, we can also make this look a little different. Rather than using the send for approval, we can change the term. We can change the term to send, send to CEO or send to manager based on the value. So I'm going to change this term here to send to CEO. Send to CEO. I'm sorry, send to manager. This will be sent to CEO. Recall that what you are doing here is if this document, the grand total is less than 300,000, we want it to show sent to manager. But if it is greater than 300,000, we want it to be sent to CEO. You can see it here. Grant 300. So I'm going to save this and refresh this other user. Okay. Now we'll check. Let's compare once more. I mean, the document and the price recall is 429,000. It's grand 300,000. Let's check the action button to see what we see. Now you see send to CEO. How about I reduce this to 250,000? Okay, um, it's still updated because of some computational value I had earlier. What I'm going to do is reduce the price above property price, just going to reduce it to 100,000. So once it's saved, it the property price will change. Yeah. So here I'm having it 9,000 because of some discount attached to it. And when we click on this action button, now, now you see sent to manager. Why? Because this grant total is less than what 300,000. You see sent to manager. Let's check through the workflow again. Here it says when it's on drafts, on draft states, it should send to manager if Document the grand total is less than 300,000. 
when it's on draft, send to CEO. If documents, the grand total is greater than 300,000, this document refers to this uh, property doc type. So whichever property doc type you are in is seen as documents. Okay. Can proceed to the action. It's going to say um, send for manager to manager for approval, and the next option will be a pending approval. And once it's pending approval, this user has no um, the approval rule specified. You check through the approval rule above. Now, who can approve when it's on pending approval? Can only be approved by, I see, I have sent to CEO, sent to manager. Whichever way we have seen that it's kind of, you know, responded to our query, or do I can approve it to this admin? Pending approval. I have to reload this page. Yeah. And the document to be submitted. So now you see how you can actually write a workflow that requires um, conditions in order to function. All you have to do is come into this condition field and specify the specific condition you want for the transition to take place. And recall, you can access this Frappe Utils, get value from a database, get list, session, uh, the date values, and the current date time as well. So this is how you can work on it. Please do like and subscribe. And the next um, video tutorial is going to be on kind of um, sending email, email based on workflow transition. Um, say we, from here, from draft states, when you click send to manager, we only want the manager, a manager to receive an email. Or when it's sent to a CEO, we don't want the manager to receive the email. We want only the CEO to receive this mail. How can we do that? Although we have what we call notification in ERP Next that you can use to select who receives an email. But this time around, I'm going to do it programmatically such that only the specified um they allowed the row, whoever is in this row will receive the email and with some kind of information. It, we could also attach a print format for the property in question so that the recipient can view the document and take action. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next um, video tutorial. Please do like and subscribe as well.